So this question says in the xy plane, so I'm going to just draw an xy plane out of habit, a line that has the equation y equals c. So I can't draw that. I know that that will be a horizontal line, though, somewhere. But I don't know where c is, so I can't really add that to my graph. So the line, the, the, a line that has the equation y equals c for some constant c intersects a parabola at exactly one point. Well, let's think about that, right? A parabola looks like this. How is it possible that a horizontal line intersects it at only one point? The only way that that's possible is if that horizontal line intersects the vertex, right? If it intersects right on the actual vertex of the parabola. So let's keep that in mind. The next sentence says, if the parabola has the equation, I'll write it over here, y equals negative x squared plus 5x, what is the value of c? Well, again, c will be like the y value of this vertex, right? We'll have an x comma y, but again, you know, from the equation, we know that y is really c, which means really we'd have an x comma c for that vertex of the parabola. So this question really is just asking us, what's the y value of the vertex, right? All that, all those words really lead down to, if we have this equation, how do you find the y value of the vertex? Well, we start off with the x value of the vertex, right? So the x value of the vertex is found by using a little formula, negative b over 2a. Now, b and a are the coefficients in front of the terms that we have here. So for us, b is 5, so I'd have negative 5, and a is negative 1, so that makes this a negative 2. So my x value is going to be positive, and I'll just use a decimal, positive 2.5. That's my, my x value for the vertex. Now, the way that I find the y value is by plugging that x value into the equation. So instead of negative x squared, I'm going to have negative and then 2.5 squared, and then plus 5 times, again, 2.5. So I'm replacing x with 2.5. Now, in my calculator, I know that 2.5 to the second power is 6.25. So that becomes a negative 6.25. And also in my calculator, 2.5 times 5 is also 6.25. Sorry, let me make sure that's right. That's 12.5, sorry. That's, so I add 12.5 here. So I have y equals that. And then negative 6.25 plus 12.5 is equal to 6.25. So the y value is 6.25. Therefore, that is what c is equal to, 6.25.